I've really neglected it, but someone actually sent a message just to me then just saying, look, why don't you post YouTube videos? It will be better to link them from your YouTube channel. So, <clears throat> quick five minute video. Ronda Rousey, okay. I saw something on Facebook the other day. Um, as you do, you see a lot of stuff on Facebook and people post stuff sometimes just to talk shit about people, whatever. Um, and I think there are genuinely a lot more people that like than dislike it. But someone posted something and there were loads, there were loads of comments to it and the comments were like, um, <clears throat> because it was in response, I think it was a Sports Illustrated photo shoot she did where she was wearing the pink gloves and she was naked, <clears throat> you know, she had a full body on the show. Um, which let's, let's, let's be honest, you know, men or women, no one's really going to complain too much about that, or are they? Um, you know, people were saying, no, she's not doing much for feminism. People were saying <clears throat> that she's um, a bit, oh, a bit, a bit. She looks rough on a Sunday morning, though. And um, sorry about my throat, by the way. It's a bit croaky. I think it's a change in temperature or something. It's fucked me up a bit. Give me a slight cold, which is annoying. As a fitness professional, it's out and about a lot. Um, they were just talking shit. So, like, here's, here's my take on it. For anyone that cares, um, I do love MMA. I'm, I'm a big fan of MMA. Um, and at times Ronda Rousey's pissed me off a bit with her attitude, but let, let's get some, one thing straight. She'll look rough on a Sunday morning. She's one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world. She's part of the elite. When it comes to martial arts, she's one of the best in the world, okay? Some fighters, when they're not fighting, they get, let themselves get a bit porky or whatever. Um, and even then, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what they want to do. Ronda Rousey won't look rough on a Sunday morning. Um, you know, she, she on a Sunday morning, I've got a feeling that she won't wake up after binge drinking anyway, run to the toilet and throw up everywhere. I've got a feeling that although she'll enjoy her life, she'll be training most of the time. That's why she's so good, okay? That's why she's an elite fighter. That's why she's by far, by far, the best female mixed martial arts fighter in the world. Yeah, Misha Tate sort of pushed her a bit. I think if they had a third fight, Ronda Rousey would destroy Misha Tate. She's never really been challenged other than that. Um, she rolls in the gym. She trains with guys. I'm sure I've seen footage of her holding her own with guys like Gegard Musashi and Luke Rockhold. Um, she's the only woman, in my opinion, that could fight uh, another man in the UFC and beat them and beat, beat the shit out of them. So coming out with comments like she'll look rough on a Sunday morning, she won't look as good as when she's airbrushed in pictures. Also on that point, she will be airbrushed. They'll have to do that. But also she's in incredible shape. Um, if you look at her, she's quite a muscular woman. Uh, she has a great body type. Um, she'll keep herself in shape most of the time. So she, she'll look rough on a Sunday morning. That's really, you know, you're making, you're making women. With comments like that, that's just making women insecure. Because you, I don't know, you just sort of like, that's the measuring stick for women um, and professional athletes that women are, but she looks rough on a Sunday morning. A lot of us look rough on a Sunday morning. I probably look rough now, you know, you can sound rough. Um, we're humans, we will look rough sometimes. But don't put her in the category of a normal person. She's not a normal person. Um, whatever she does on a Saturday night to look rough on a Sunday morning is very different to you or me. She's rich and she's an elite athlete. She had to sleep in a car. To, um, for a period to get to the stage she's at now, which is the best female fighter in the world, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. She's had to beat loads of people. Um, she's had to overcome the adversity of being a woman. And Dana White, the head of the UFC, said women will never fight in this organization. They now are, and you know he, he kisses her ass if anything. Um, and the female fighters, I've not seen many fights that have been boring. You know, I, I wasn't sure at first. But there have been some really great fights. Um, the feminism thing. Um, I don't read every interview she does. She doesn't seem to go on about feminism loads. If she does, fair play to her. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that she was the first female to ever be on the cover of Men's Fitness. Or one of the, one of the highly regarded fitness magazines that men read. So if that's not bridging a gap be, between genders and calling for equality and is a display of solidarity with her fellow females um, and the males and, and the men because uh, she seems to hang around in men more than women 
if that's not a show of solidarity and if that's not taking a positive step towards us being equal, I mean, what is? Come on. So the whole feminism thing, yeah, she's not doing feminism much justice because she's posing half naked. You know, loads of men pose half naked as well with the six packs out and all that. I couldn't give a fuck what they're doing for men's men's rights or whatever. I know it's different. I'm not saying it's the same. So don't, please don't be like, eh, it's the, it is different. Um, it just shows, you know, what what do you concentrate on in life? Do you worry more about people posing topless or something, or you know, do you worry? Should you worry about yourself more? Because there's obviously a part of you that you need to address if you find that so incredibly threatening. Ronda Rousey could do what the fuck she wants. Ronda Rousey is an Olympian. She's she's had various medals throughout her life. When she was young, I watched an interview with her mum saying yesterday, I when she was 17, she won like world championships or something. I don't know regional championships I don't know she's been constantly a winner her whole life if she wants to make some money a few thousand dollars posing for Sports Illustrated then let her you could, it's your body at the end of the day you could do what the fuck you want if I want to put a bar at Mankini on now and go outside into the streets um, I'll do that because it's my body I'm not going to do that because we'll get arrested it's not Halloween for another couple of weeks but do you see the point I'm making people are too quick to jump on people and talk shit when people might not want to be role models sometimes they're just thrust into the limelight and everyone thinks they should do this they should do that if they've worked as hard as one of Rousey's worked they can do what the fuck they want and they can enjoy life um, so yeah again Ronda Rousey you can slag her off all you want and people will this is the internet but you, you can't help but respect the effort determination she's put into making her a successful fighter and now an actress She'll bring books out. She'll do all sorts. She's rich. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not saying that's the be all and end all of life, but she's she's gone from hardship and sleeping in a car. When she stepped foot in the gym for the first time, apparently her head her head coach didn't even really bother with her. And now she's one of the best. Well, she's the best female fighter in the world. I'd love to see her fight Cyborg Santos. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, run her ass. You can do what the fuck she wants. So stop bitching and um, show some support. If you're going to post an article on Slack, someone will do your research first, okay? Do your research. Cheers. Have a nice day. Nick McClain.